Hello everyone and welcome to Pophology. Hopefully you're all having a good Monday, a good day so far. My day was pretty good. Uh, I just worked for quite a while and I got off work and just chilled. Didn't really have a game plan or anything. I just relaxed. I learned a lot about hummus and hummus in Israel. Um, don't know why, I just did. And then um, I, I just chilled some more. I've been getting slowly back into crypto. Um, oh, Emily's home. It's probably 10 o'clock at night. She's pretty tired because she has class on Mondays and Tuesdays. So, but yeah, she's here just chilling. Um, so back to whatever I got. I started getting into crypto again. Um, I was really into crypto a couple years ago, and I know a lot about crypto. Like, uh, just to be honest, I know a lot about it. I have not been actively trading. I hold crypto, but I haven't been trading. A huge difference, you know. So, and that's mainly to keep my taxes low because that's crazy, obviously. I mean, if you're trading something all the time, at least in the U.S., you know. Now, if you're in uh, New Zealand and maybe Argentina, maybe, you don't really have uh, fees for that. So, all I'd say, slowly getting into crypto, I, I don't want to be as into it as I was a couple years ago, uh, years ago, but hey, got into it again over the past few days. I actually... Um, this is not a recommendation. I'm not a financial advisor, but I bought some crypto.com CRO coins and I'm just riding that wave and I'm going to probably hold that for a long time. So that's kind of where I'm at at the moment. I mean, I got other stuff. I'm, I'm kind of researching other coins I'm researching and I will probably purchase, but I'm trying just to be wise with how much I buy and trade because, you know, I can make, you know, even if I make a thousand dollars on a trade, I'm paying, you know, my tax on it. So I just, whatever, looking for coins I can hold or is this, is this even a good time? I don't know. I mean, it probably, it's probably fine. Like even if Bitcoin, which I can see possibly going down to like 45,000, um, it, it would probably just stabilize, you know, around, even at 35, I would, you know, it's like, okay, whatever. I've, I've been through it. I've seen it. It's, it's very possible. Not that it's happening anytime soon to anyone who's into crypto. Man, some, so many people have uh, so many crazy opinions. They get so offended when you, when you uh, point out their coin. See, that, that was one thing about having a crypto channel. If you said anything negative that would even possibly hint at a coin going down, everyone would be so mad and you would have all these people when they're arguing in your comments or telling you that you're completely wrong their coin is going to the moon and all of this stuff it's really crazy i'm i'm sure that's still how it is so if you're looking to learn about crypto uh just be careful <laughs> and um use your brain you know what i mean don't just find someone who's super hyped and trying to sell you everything because you because if that's the case you won't actually learn what you're buying you'll just be buying what they tell you to buy so that's one thing about smaller crypto channels is typically they're not crazy there are there are a lot of crazy people or even investing stuff there's a lot of, it doesn't it's not just crypto but anything with investing whatever you know people just tend to believe their own stuff they believe Whatever they're buying is going up or whatever they hold it's going up because they hope for it and and who knows sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't so but yeah that's what I'm doing kind of getting into crypto again and I am enjoying it that's that what else have, am I doing um nothing nothing really I texted my friend Chris to see if he wanted to hang out and play some video games tonight, but I texted him really late. So I don't know. I don't know if he, we won't tonight, but maybe sometime this week I'll hang out with him. It's Thanksgiving week. Oh, you know what? I bet there's going to be 
a few of you who are going to be at Thanksgiving with family and you're going to have a crypto person trying to talk to you all about crypto. Or maybe that's your, maybe you're that person. So that's so funny. I, yeah, I was, I was deep into crypto 2018, 2017. And I talked about it a lot. So, but yeah, it's Thanksgiving week. Looking forward to it. Are any of you going shopping on Friday? I'm probably not, to be honest. I can't think of anything that I would want. Maybe online I will, if there's any good deals on anything, but who knows. Yeah, just going to have a good, have some good food. Maybe have a uh, sugar pie. I think sugar cream pie, I think that's what it is. Indiana has, I think that's one of their famous pies, I, I think. It's, it's literally just, I don't know what it is, flour, milk, and sugar, butter, vanilla. So it's just a custard pie, which I do like. But my favorite custard pie, if it is a custard pie, it's more like a chess pie, is buttermilk chess pie. Oh, yeah, that, it's in the name, or butter, buttermilk pie. So, which I do think there's a difference. I, I do think a buttermilk chess pie is what I like. Versus a buttermilk pie, which I think they sell. Actually, they sell the buttermilk pie, which I, it's not, I'm not a huge fan of, but they sell it at Walmart. So, at least they used to. Everywhere. It was nationwide. But a good, that's a good buttermilk chess pie. So good. I haven't had a good one in a very long time. So, but yeah, just looking forward to food. It's been really beautiful uh, in this area, in Indy. The trees have been a bunch of different colors. Uh, it was pretty sunny today. I don't think it was warm. It was kind of cold, but it was very nice out. And yeah, just looking for a good week. Hopefully you have a good Thanksgiving. Hopefully you make uh, your turkeys or your whatever bird you eat, chickens, what are the other hens? Is that what they are? Cornish hens? Maybe you make duck. I don't know. I don't know. I had duck one time at Vita. I've, I've mentioned it before. Not my favorite. I did like the crust, though. The crust of the duck, very good. It was very good. So we'll probably have some Jack's Donuts uh, later this week, which I really love Jack's Donuts. I've come to... Um, and a result of my thoughts on Rise and Roll Bakery officially. And I think they only have, for me, they only have one good donut. And I know, but it's like, it's very, very good. But but the rest, no, not one good donut. They only have maybe one super amazing donut, in my opinion. And that is the Caramel Bavarian Donut. Man, that thing is unmatched. And it's because of... The icing, that caramel icing, they spend money on that icing. I know that icing costs more to make than that than a chocolate one. It just, I don't know. I can just tell they're using something in it, butter, real butter, or some caramel something. I don't know, but it's a quality donut. But their other one, their chocolate donut, not a huge fan. I mean, it's still good, but I like the uh, chocolate one from Jack's Donuts or almost anywhere else. So I don't know. It's not, it's not, so it, was, it didn't impress me, but their cinnamon donuts are pretty good. So, but they, they really don't have a huge selection, a uh, huge selection of donuts at rise and roll. I'm, I'm just talking about their donuts. I think they only have maybe seven at max, maybe six. I don't know, but maybe they don't have as many because of supply chain issues. That's probably why, because when we went there, the guy was like, oh, yeah, we, we haven't had this uh, cinnamon sugar donut in uh, probably three, two to three weeks. I was like, oh, wow. I, I haven't been here in probably a month, but, yeah, that's interesting. So maybe they're feeling the effects of that. And I'm sure gr the grocery stores as, are as well. I'm, I'm sure it's going to be just chaos. I did see a lot of turkeys at Costco, though. I don't know how much they cost. But I saw 
you know, they were huge. I'm sure they were the most expensive ones. If you're still watching this, comment down below satellite because I'm sitting beside a TV satellite. So, which does work pretty good. I mean, it works well because we're in the city. So, you know, we don't pay for cable. But we also don't really watch TV besides, you know, we watch streaming services. So, yeah. Also, uh, I think Emily started this show that uh, JK recommended. I don't remember the name, but she watched, I don't know, if, she watched it last night for a while, like multiple hours. So I guess, I don't know, I assume she likes it. I'm not sure. Speaking of TV. So we do like, um, which I might do this again. We typically get a, a streaming channel service that has Hallmark and ABC Family or whatever it's called now, new channel or something. I, I don't have no idea what it is. Is it Life Channel or something? I, I don't know what it is. Anyways, we do get a streaming service around the holidays because it's fun to watch a holiday stuff, Christmas stuff, whatever, New Year's movies, Christmas shows. So we might do that. <clears throat> I, I think last year I got sling, but I don't know if I'm going to do that again. So, well, I got sling and I got, oh, is it, f I don't know, Fuego? No, I don't know. It was some weird, it was some weird one that I don't even know why I got it. I mean, it was cheaper than sling, so, but it was pretty sketchy. But I might do that again. Who knows? I don't know just to get some uh, channels on. Okay, well, that's it. that is all. Hope you all have a good Monday. I will see you tomorrow. I'll see you at Tuesday Tea Talk. And if no one's told you this today, you are loved and this world's a better place because you are here. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.